Susan Boyle is one of the most recognizable figures to emerge from Britain's Got Talent, and she was also one of the first true viral stars of the digital age. Her performances circulating on websites like YouTube made her somewhat of an overnight sensation. People instantly became fascinated with Susan because she defied nearly every odd in the industry. She was 47 years old, didn't fit the music industry's typical beauty standards, and she was more of a homely figure in style instead of glamorous. Yet for a moment in time, Susan Boyle became the people's champ. And when shows like Britain's Got Talent or X Factor were actually still pumping out stars, someone like Susan being catapulted to extreme heights was the main draw and benefit of shows like that. It gave people who likely would have never even been considered to be a star in the music industry a chance to be seen and heard. Initially, Boyle began her career as a cover artist, covering popular songs and shopping them around to labels. She did many gigs and won many singing competitions, but she was convinced that she was too old to audition for Britain's Got Talent. She also believed that favoritism was being shown towards conventionally attractive people. After some encouraging words from a friend, she finally decided to go to the audition. Now, Susan Boyle's performance is noted for how the audience reacted to her, which was actually very disgusting. Now, Susan introduced herself in a very clumsy manner, but she showed a lighthearted humor as well. When she first walks out and explains that she wants to be as successful of a singer as Elaine Page, the audience's reaction is very dismissive and negative. She chose to sing I Dreamed a Dream from Les Miserables, and as she's singing, the host turns to the camera and is like, I bet you didn't expect that, did you? And all of a sudden, the audience becomes her biggest cheerleaders. The audience before and after her singing is like night and day. Granted, Susan wasn't the conventional polished and young pop star archetype, but it's not like looks dictate a singing voice. And it just goes to show how people can automatically perceive someone. The reaction to her singing talent was immense. Her performance of I Dreamed a Dream even caused a surge in ticket sales for Les Miserables. Susan advanced week after week on Britain's Got Talent, becoming the clear favorite of the show, but lost to dance group Diversity, which was met with mixed reactions. Following the immense profile she gained from the show, she was admitted to a psychiatric clinic due to exhaustion, but she recovered and toured with the Britain's Got Talent cast. Britain loves balladeers, so there was no way with the level of hype and exposure Susan had that she wasn't going to get signed. She was quickly signed to Simon Cowell's label, Psycho. Her debut album was released in 2009, titled I Dreamed a Dream. It became a mega success almost instantly. It is the fastest selling debut album ever in the UK, the best selling album of 2009, and to date has sold over 9 million copies. Susan really struck a chord with people, and that is likely because of her relatability, something that will become more important in marketing as time grew. She was a symbol of hope for a lot of people. She followed up her debut album with her Christmas album in 2010, and various other albums throughout the decade that experienced success. But Susan notably chooses to live a more low-key life. Her debut album remains her most successful. She still lives in her four-bedroom family home, despite making millions. And she also still catches the bus in her town. In 2012, she was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome and worked on finding coping techniques to help her manage it. And in 2014, at the age of 53, she got her first real boyfriend. Susan still tours, still releases music, and chooses to live a modest life outside of the public eye. She was one of the first huge examples of what the internet and going viral could do for a regular person even if they weren't what the industry was necessarily looking for or looking to.